Thank you very much. I'll just start by saying you've asked an Irishman to say a couple of words. That, that will be a challenge in its own right. I will keep it brief. Um, look, we are very, very um, grateful, honoured and humbled indeed to accept this award. I would like to thank Mr Chris Hayes MP in his absence um, and indeed yourself, Dr Thomason and the Australian Institute of Criminology. I'd also recognise the uh, other winners today and indeed, the f in including ourselves, the 55 applications that went in. There's incredible crime prevention and, and uh, community projects happening across Australia as we speak. Last night when I was putting these notes together, I thought I need to sound very uh, intelligent when I stand up here. And I thought, well, maybe a better way of going about it is just to be honest and upfront in terms of how we approached our work. And when we look at crime and violence prevention at the Banksia Gardens public housing estate in Broadmeadows, which is in the northwest of Melbourne, we really understood that in preventing crime but also reducing crime, it was incredibly important to focus on community development. So rather than just looking at one issue, we see the holistic requirement of a community. And to that end, we have programs ranging from early childhood, youth, adult education, training and, em and employment opportunities for people. Our work and our theory of change is, uh, I did add theory of change to sound important and intelligent. Our theory of change is based on four key principles. Strength-based, that we see community as being part of the solution and that community members have innate strengths and assets that we can build on. Economic participation, uh, more than just a buzzword, we do see that employment is incredibly important in reducing and preventing crime. But also for an estate where we have 90% of people on um, welfare benefits, we also see the importance in ensuring that we can still create opportunities to participate in a local community. To that end, we cr we've created a number of social enterprises, uh, a gardening enterprise which works directly on the estate, and enables people in public housing to access it, um, this service, keep their gardens clean um, at a price that's effective for them. It also employs local refugees new to the country. We see it uh, incredibly vital that there's a physical presence. Our community centre is based on the estate, uh, but that workers such as myself and my colleagues were highly visible on the estate. We started nearly three years ago now and the, the drug dealers would stand on the street corner and, and eyeball us as we'd walk by. Um, and the strategy we, we implemented with them was one which any geography student may be aware of, soil creep. So every time they turn, turned their head we would reclaim another inch uh, of the estate, another unit or another street. Um, to that end we've actually seen a 50, over 50% 50 reduction in crime on the estate. And I'm glad to say that when these guys do come back, and they do come back, that we get rid of them in a very quick and appropriate way. When I say get rid of them, I mean that the police deal with them, not, yes, okay. <laughs> Finally, the, the fourth principle being a whole of community approach, so that we fully in, endorse and understand that no one agency has all the responses and answers to um, crime prevention, or indeed any community um, challenge. We see our partners in government, non-government agencies and also the community themselves as a, as a key part and I guess in accepting this award there always needs to be someone accepting the award but very much we accept it on behalf of all of our partners. I will acknowledge just a couple of organizations, I'm nearly done Adam, um, I will just a, a couple of organizations and I hesitate with this because by recognizing one or two there's many, many more who don't get mentioned, um, but I do feel it's important to mention the work that Victoria Police um, have completed in partnership with ourselves and with state government on the estate. Um, senior sergeants, constables of the, the local police station, but also the, the region um, inspector who worked out of hours, um, who would go above and beyond their duty and their jobs. To, in the background to ensure that we could get the outcomes we needed for the local community. State government, the Office of Housing, who fund our work on the estate. And I guess I'd like to endorse their um, show of faith in putting money into a community organization to run what can be a highly
political and sensitive um, areas such as housing. Um, the hotspots funding from the central office, but also the local Broadmeadows Housing Office, who again, I had many, many calls with on a Saturday night when we had challenges, not in anyone's position description, not in anyone's um, pay grade. Hume City Council, I'll just very quickly mention their social development team, their youth services, their community learning team, and indeed their economic development team, um, who always came to the table never saying to us, that's not our responsibility, always saying, what can we do to help? And indeed, the many other organizations and individuals who gave their time, energy, influence um, to ensuring that we were able to really support the local community and get the outcomes we have, we've achieved to date. In closing, I'll thank Mr. Chris Hayes, MP, in his absence. I'd also like to thank the Australian Institute of Criminology, and it, it does um, a huge amount of um, well-being for workers when what we're dealing with day in day out can be very very challenging and very difficult and we don't always see the outcomes on a daily basis it can take time it's it's very um gratifying and humbling to receive this award miss maria van vakeny federal member for colwell um, maria actually nominated us for this award so thank you very much and indeed to our staff who every day are very, very supportive of us, and I, I'd, I'd have to say it's politics with a small p, it is about local people. My colleagues at Banksia Gardens Community Services, their creativity and their passion and commitment to social change in the area. Um, I will just make special mention of Jaime De Loma, who's uh, our Community Development Manager. Uh, he developed the project concept for Community Connections, and he's not here today, but has had a huge part to do with it. Our CEO, Ms. Georgina Dougal, uh, not because she's the CEO and I won't be asking for any more money, um, but in terms of your leadership, thank you very much, Gina, and your counsel on the, on the very, very challenging days that, that we have had. Finally, I'll, I'd like to thank the Banksy Gardens Public Housing Estate community for their resilience over the past 30 years, their tenacity, and finally, their, their ability to, put, uh, to show enough courage put their trust in us that when we came to them bright-eyed bushy-tailed three years ago and said we reckon we can help that they were willing to give us a fair go. I'll finish just with a quote and I believe it's anonymous it certainly wasn't from me I wish it was whatever the problem community is the answer and I think that's incredibly important when we talk about crime and violence prevention. Thank you very much. <laughs>